And so we're teaching teachers about the material. We're giving them a chance to learn how to program. We're teaching them what cellular engineering is and how to incorporate that into their own classroom. Traditionally, the way we learn about cells is that they're these little bags of chemicals and they don't do a whole lot. Well, we want to transform how we think about cells, turn it into something a little bit more engaging and a little bit more something that you could actually engineer, like little biological robots. Like a cell, it has all of these different parts that can relate to a cell's organelles, and each of them are designed to do a specific thing, and they each have a program, kind of like the robot is a program. They both need to make decisions on some kind of stimuli from the outside world, and then they're continually trying to make decisions on what they see or how, whatever the kind of information they're picking up. One of the ways that we try and broaden participation in the STEM field through our workshop is we look for students that the workshop would make a critical difference in their life. One of the ways that we do it is we ask teachers to nominate students that don't have access to a lot of science enrichment. They might be from uh, different backgrounds that are traditionally underrepresented in STEM, but they have a spark. They're really interested in science and the teachers see that. Those are the students that we're really looking for that might really benefit from a program like this. When I was looking at the workshop and making decisions about what, whether I wanted to attend or not, one of the key factors was seeing that you wanted us to bring students. And what I realized is this was really powerful as well because it kind of put both the students and me in a very similar playing ground. It was really frustrating when I first do a program and I can't really make the robot move the way I want. So it seemed a lot easier. Now when we're trying to actually do photopaxis, we kind of have to do a lot of variables. I really liked the moments where our code was successful. We're on our own trying to figure out how to make it sense of life which has been a pain because for some reason this robot doesn't like us. Being there with them and learning together new processes and programs I'd never tried was exciting. All the limitations, the things, the struggles and going through that with them sort of lends me to remembering what it was like to be in that chair and, and really that they're teaching me as much as I'm teaching them. And uh, it was great because I knew coming into this I was not going to be strong in programming, but one of my student partners Bam, he, he had it, it was his strong point. Um, and I was able to kind of think about what did we need the robot to do. I mean, this was really cool. I mean, for me, that was one of the highlights. I, I would absolutely encourage you to continue incorporating the student perspective as teachers. How is this gonna play in my class? I, I get an idea because I see how these students are responding right there with me.